I've received a number of questions and seen many, many comments related to the verdict against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. So this week, I'm going to provide my own opinion on the facts of the case. I'll apply the law to the facts, and I'll explain my view of how this verdict impacts the hardworking men and women in law enforcement. My name is Steve Sirbalik. I'm an attorney who regularly represents law enforcement officers, but this week's video represents my own opinion, not necessarily the opinions of any groups that I represent. First, here are the basic facts that were established in the trial. One, placing pressure on Floyd is a use of force. Two, uses of force must be objectively reasonable. Three, uses of force must stop when they're no longer objectively reasonable. Four, continuing to use force when it's no longer objectively reasonable is an unjustified assault, even if the original use of force was objectively reasonable. Five, if an assault is a substantial factor in a death, it meets Minnesota requirements for felony murder, the class two charge that the jury convicted upon. I made an earlier video regarding the George Floyd situation, and my perspective hasn't changed. Regardless of the initial circumstances, Chauvin had a duty to stop using force when the resistance stopped. My view of the video, as well as the view of the jury, apparently, was that the force Chauvin used extended beyond what was objectively reasonable, and was a contributing factor to Floyd's death. So how does this impact law enforcement generally? My view is that good cops have nothing to fear from this verdict. The vast majority of officers stop using force when resistance stops. Officers regularly render aid if necessary. Law enforcement officers and supervisors on scenes continually evaluate whether use of force remains reasonable. If officers do not live up to these basic standards, they can be committing an unjustified assault and may be held accountable. My other strongly held belief that's often ignored, if we're honest. Chauvin didn't go to work that day intending on hurting or killing anyone, but he did intentionally keep pressure on Floyd after Floyd stopped fighting. A reasonable police officer would have and should have stopped using force. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments below, and please like this video and subscribe to help out my channel. Videos come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.